to clear it by Patrick Moynihan. UMass Tricic has Providence on the chains. They give it to Bobby Trevino. His shot knocked down by Josh Lapina. Sent right back to Lapina, and he scores! The Hockey East co-rookie of the year starts the scoring in the opening minute. 1-0 UMass. Minute men there were buzzing around their zone right away. They got some pressure in, and you end up getting a Lapina right out in front, wide open. It's the block there, and then the re the ability to go and chase down that puck behind the net and get it right back in front. And Lopino there wide open. That is the start that Greg Carvel and these Minutemen were looking for. Ever to win the regular season and the postseason. It's very hard to win your tournament, especially in these one and done scenarios. We saw that with Boston University knocked off at home by the seven seed. Wrap around chance. Lindbergh can't get to it. They score. It is Brett Berard playing the carom to tie the game exactly six minutes in. We just talked about active boards, and they seem to be a little bit more active in this building than maybe some of the buildings in Hockey East, and Providence takes advantage there. Right off the boards, and Barad, he was—he knew what he was doing. He was going for the puck with the purpose of wrapping that around. Yeah, some Providence. They're one, two, or three in the Hockey East rankings and face-off percentage, outshooting their opponents as Thompson gets in. Still holding, hit the post with that one, lifting it up high over Lindbergh. Barard knocks it down. Looking toward the middle, but he's met by Kessel. 33 seconds left on the opening power play chance for either side tonight. Thompson now one timer, they score! It's Parker Ford on the power play. UMass took a 1-0 lead, not even a minute in, but two lightning quick goals from Providence, and the Friars jump on top. Yeah, good work here by the Friars using that bumper position. Parker Ford right in the middle, and it's working the puck a little bit along the boards. And I mentioned keeping an eye on Thompson. He doesn't only score, he can set it up, and he gets that puck beautifully to Parker Ford. Right. Bobby Trevino drops one back for Josh Lapita. Now Zach Jones had that one kicked away. Trevino on the backhand couldn't get it on target. We have an update. The apparent game winning goal is under review right now. Looks like an offsides review. We'll keep you posted there as the drama continues in our semifinal doubleheader. Here at Amherst, it's a 2-1 Providence lead. They've scored two unanswered as Jones scores from the blue line. We're tied again. Zach Jones, the Rangers draft pick, and a Hockey East All-Star delivers to even things up at two. I got 24. It looked like there was a big screen set in front of Jackson Strauber here. You get Jones, a really talented offensive defenseman, snaps that off, and look at, look at the bodies in front. One, two, three, four bodies, two from each team. Not a lot that Starber was going to see him when you're a player with, like Jones, he can snap that puck off. Across the crease. See UMass as active as they can be down around that goal line. One timer, Trevino scores! A rink-wide feed from Zach Jones, and UMass strikes first in the second period. Didn't take a lot longer than it took in period one to get on the board for the Minutemen. This one is really developed off a real nice read. When you can make a pass like this, interception, but then know exactly where you're going with that pass. Zach Jones on the pass. Vigno now in after it. Stick handles his way to the circle. Threw it across for Felix. Plenty of room for Mark Del Geizo. His shot is saved by Stauber. Berard will wrap it around off the top of the dasher and handled by Felix. Still Geizo again with real estate. He'll get it to Mika just off the bench. Mika shot, score! Third of the year for the senior. And George Mika doubles UMass's lead. He's been pressed into additional duties this year with some injuries for UMass. He's given them a two-goal advantage late. And timing here gets a little lost coming out off of the bench here. And then he has some screens set up. He's got his own man. 
believe that was Garrett Waite in front. Plus, you have three Providence defenders in there screening. And perfectly placed shot off the far post. Poked away by Mark Del Geizo. Lapina back out to center. Providence has not scored since the first period. They're desperate for a pair here. Ruika lost it. Del Geizo from distance. He scores! An empty net goal. And a 5-2 lead for UMass, who can taste it now. A chance to host the Hockey East Championship game on Saturday and an opportunity to win the Lamarillo Trophy for the first time. And listen, I was very impressed with UMass and their extra attacker defense here. They held the blue line. Nilsson holding. The pressure from Aaron Bollinger with five seconds left. Puck in the corner. Koopman pressured by Laganoff. Down he goes, and the horn will sound. The UMass Minutemen, for the first time since 2004, are headed to the Hockey East title game. And they're going to host it, too. The three seed will host the seven seed UMass Lowell Riverhawks in a winner-take-all championship round.